What's up guys? Welcome back to WX Garage. We are on to track day number two here at Pueblo. Um, we are at Pueblo Motorsports Park PMP uh, in Pueblo, Colorado. Um, this is the second um, event of the SCCA time trial series for the Colorado region. So this is gonna be an awesome event. Um, Got the car here, car is looking awesome. I did a bunch of prep work yesterday, um, working on a lot, pretty much all the fluid. So I switched over to 5W40 oil, that should help with some of my temps a little bit. Um, I, we did the hood louvers, which are gonna help with extracting a ton of that air. Um, I did a coolant burp, um, and if you guys saw on Instagram, I kind of did a different method than I did last time, and I think it's gonna be really helpful for, um, I think it was really helpful for removing all the air from that system, so. All in all, the car is ready to go. Um, we have only three sessions today. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to do both days of the two-day series, so we'll see how I do. Um, I swapped the tires around a little bit, switched the front and the rear to help mitigate some of that wear that we saw from the last track day, because I did uh, two full track days last time and really took a good chunk out of Got a good, a good amount of use out of those tires. So um, we're gonna be switching up the tire and wheel setup pretty soon. Um, but while I was doing that, checked brake pads, checked my rotors, everything looked good. I topped off my brake fluid. There wasn't a lot missing, just added a little bit more. Um, I rebled my clutch. Um, there was a little bit of air in there, but I just did that just for, you know, just to be safe. So. Um, we're gonna be doing uh, our first session in about 20, 30 minutes here. Um, going to be taking it really slow because this is my first time on track. Um, and because I don't have a time from yesterday, I'm gonna be at the end, uh, the back of the pack when we go out on track anyways, which is great because uh, I'm gonna be taking my time really learning this track. It's a lot longer than the last one, which was at La Junta. Um, this is a uh, 10 turns, 2.2 uh, mile track, so quite a bit longer bit longer of a straight too so we're gonna have some fun with that see what we can get for our top speed um i am just really excited it's gonna be a great day guys so uh, i'm gonna try to film here and there it's a busy day um i do have quite a few breaks here and there so i sh should be able to get some good content for you guys but um, i do have a new microphone setup for the gopro in the car um, i'm running two different microphones one from the rear and then one on top with the shotgun mic that i'm using from my dslr um, so it should have a better overall sound quality from the last video so uh, let me know down in the comments uh, we'll see how it goes but uh i have to uh kind of run a volume switch for one for the rear mic to balance out that exhaust note but overall i think it should sound good and uh hope you guys like it so we're gonna get on track in just a second here. All right, guys. So, of course, uh, with the new audio setup, um, I tried to run something that um, I hadn't really tested. I thought it was going to work, but it did not. So I ended up with <clears throat> ended up with no audio. Um, so I'm just going to give you guys a narration over this clip here. This is the first time out on track, just doing a little shakedown lap. Um, here, here we are exiting you know the staging area into the hot pit lane right here uh, we got placed at the back of the group because we didn't have a time from the previous day but that's all right it was a good experience to go pretty slow in the first couple laps and really get a feel for this track because it is quite complicated um, the lap or i'm sorry the hot pit here exits uh, onto the main straight um, and at the end of the main straight, we have our first turn, which is a very, very long looping overhander, uh, right hand overhander, uh, which is turn one uh, into two pretty short, small 90 degree turns, which are two and three. So this is a much longer track than the previous track that we had a video on, which was La Junta. Um, so <clears throat> lot to figure out, way more turns. Um, Here's this long right overhander trying to learn these lines into a tight left, followed by another 90 degree tight left, which is turn three. Turn four is a hairpin, not crazy tight, but another long right hander onto the uh, one of the back straights a uh, good little bit um, this little stretch here later on was a little bit annoying because um, 
it was just enough length for me to hit let red limiter on the uh, in, in gear three um, but overall it was just the not the right length for me to get into fourth which is annoying this turn right here is seven this is very very tricky very tight hairpin um, you have to really find that line uh, and come out wide start really wide and turn into the corner turn eight pretty simple uh, and then we have a really long drag here uh, i think my top speed later in the day was around 110 112 um, so i can get all the way down into first gear or up into first uh fourth gear sorry uh, turn nine, this one was gonna be infamous later on. You guys will see why. Uh, turn nine is another 90, but it's off of that long straight on the back end and uh, I was having a lot of trouble with it. And then here's turn 10 back onto the main straight, which doubles as, doubles as their drag strip. Okay, so this is one of the decently paced laps from session one. Um, I wanted to show you guys this one because it kind of shows you uh, the learning process and a lot of the mistakes I was making early on. Um, I was getting some really good top speeds on this back straight, I think around uh, 120 on this first session. Um, but overall, I'm, I'm just really bummed that I didn't get the audio set up correct for these so i'm really sorry about that guys but hopefully this is still um some content that you guys enjoy um so right there uh really going deep um way too deep into that corner and you see me check over my shoulder to make sure that nobody was on the racing line behind me uh, whenever you go off the racing line by accident you always want to be aware of people around you so you're not coming back on the track and or back onto the racing line and hitting anyone this corner here is probably one of my favorites on the track because at pace I was getting the rear to step out a little bit. Uh, so kind of power sliding through that corner going up the hill, um, which was a lot of fun. But you'll see me kind of go deep in this next corner here again. Turn seven, I just really wasn't giving it enough room. Um, not going wide enough to start the corner and diving in. So uh, really need to focus on fixing that next time I'm out here. The back straight here, and you'll see what happens at the end. Um, again, reaching good top speeds, um, but then I end up just missing the braking zone and sliding off. So this kind of just shows you all the issues I was having in this first session. There's a big learning curve and um, I did get a little bit better throughout the session, but um, overall I was having a lot of issues. So session number two, I fixed the audio. So now we have audio, so that's great. Um, I'm gonna focus on just having a little more confidence in the corners. I got a good sense of the track from the first go around, but still gonna be taking, you know, going pretty conservatively here. We're gonna save the hottest uh, laps for the, you know, the, the last session here, session three at the end of the day. Temps might be a little cooler. Um, I'd really need to keep an eye on cooling temps because st I'm still having a little bit of an issue. Uh, for the next day, we'll probably be um, switching over to distilled water, see if that helps a bit, but really excited and we'll, let's see how this goes. Oh, uh -huh. 
right, guys. So, um, a little bit of a disappointing session number two. Um, I had some audio issues this session. Audio issues in session number one. Today's a little bit of a mess, but um, we believe in being fully transparent with you guys in these videos. And when shit hits the fan, shit hits the fan. You know. Um, Every time we make a video, not everything goes perfect, and today's just one of those days. Um, so I managed to shave off about two and a half seconds from session one to session two, but I really didn't get a full flyer lap, which is a good sign that you know I'm learning the lines and stuff, but um, as you guys will see in the GoPro clips here, I did go off twice, twice in, uh, this last session uh first one was the same the, the 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 first off in session two was the same place i went off in session one so it's turn nine for some reason i can't wrap my head around that that turn um it's kind of hard to see where the curbing is because there's a little lip on the in the pavement when you're driving towards it so i need to find some kind of other marker along that turn before that braking zone to find out where i need to start slamming on the brakes there um the other thing is my tires are giving me quite a bit of issues. Um, cool and temps were a bit better this session, but again, I didn't get as many hot laps, so that's good. Uh, but my tires are really squealing, and it's, um, I think they're getting to the point where they're either overheating or, you know, they're just not, they're just a bit too bald. There's not enough tread across all four of them to really hold me well in the corner. So um, we're gonna, ha we have a really nice long break between now and session three. Um, so hopefully I'll let the tires cool down. Um, the tire pressure right as I came off track was up to 37. So maybe I'll drop the PSI a little bit. I don't know, but overall, you know, you win some, you lose some. I made some progress, but we'll see what I can do in session three. Today is the day after the trek. Um, There's a lot of driving. It's about five hours of driving total, um, two and a half hours to and from the trek. So um, I'm a little tired. Uh, I'm working on the video right now. Um, I just wanted to talk to you guys about my experience from yesterday. Um, unfortunately, in session three, um, I was not able to get a better time than 151, um, which is very disappointing. Um, I was really battling a couple things. One, um, the tires on my car are just shot. Um, you'll see my car get loose a little bit uh, in, the, in the last clip from session two. Um, and you'll hear them just screaming on pretty much every corner. So uh, they are really chewed up, um, almost bald. Um, there's still a little bit, a little bit of tread left, but um, these tires really are not having it, especially with the amount of high heat um, cycles I've put through them. So um, I was really struggling with that. Uh, and then also I was a little worried about some of the uh, overheating, uh, which I will be addressing very soon. Uh, you guys will see that coming up uh, in the next couple weeks here. But um, instead of putting the uh, any clips of session three, um, I just wanted to talk to you guys instead. Um, first off, audio. Um, I ran a new setup for the first time that I thought would work. Um, it's basically a splitter cable going into the back of the GoPro to collect, uh, pick up audio from inside the cabin and from the rear of the car so you get that nice exhaust note. Um, and obviously it was, uh, it was a bit uh, of an issue. Um, so, I'm really sorry about that. Um, you know, I said it before, when shit hits the fan, you know, there's not really much you can do. So I uh, just wanted to be honest with you guys about it. Um, overall, I'm, I'm disappointed in how I performed on track because even with the tires and all of that happening, um, there was still absolutely some driver mod in that, um, that where I needed to improve. Um, if I had showed up to both days, of the weekend, um, I would have gotten a lot more lap time under my belt and a little more experience on track, but I honestly don't think the tires would have survived in a, another full day of tracking the, on the, of tracking the car. So overall, um, absolutely I could have improved. Uh, one of the frustrating things was it, the fastest time that I put down, um, I actually only hit a top speed of 110 or something like that on that back straight. And, uh, You'll see in that last clip that in other sessions and other laps, I was hitting 
you know, 123, 124. So there is absolutely more time in the car. Uh, there's more time in, in my ability, um, but I just wasn't able to capitalize on that. So the other disappointment obviously is the overall audio issues. I really should have done some more testing beforehand and I thought I had found a solution that would work um, to help um, remove or reduce some of the sound from the, the, the rear of the car to help balance it out. Um, but I made the dumb idea to switch the second lapel mic in the cabin to my uh, shotgun mic on my DSLR, the one I have right now. And uh, the two didn't work through the same splitter. I ended up removing all the audio from the first session. So I finally figured out everything for the last session. I think it's all, uh, and the audio actually sounds really good there. Um, but just because of uh, the slower times, I'm not gonna be showing you guys those clips. Regardless of all the negative things, let's talk about a couple positive things. One, um, it was a lot of fun. I mean, anytime you go out on track, um, I always like hanging out with those guys, seeing the same people again. Um, you get to see a bunch of cool cars. Um, and then more importantly, you get more seat time. So even if you have a negative experience, if you don't perform as well as you think you should, um, you still get more seat time and more hands-on experience with driving on the track. So um, regardless of all those negatives, I think that there are some things that I can take uh, away from this as a positive um, that can keep building uh, for the channel, uh, but also for myself and uh, continue to improve. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, again, sorry, I'm kind of ending it on a little bit of a sad note, but um, I promise I'm going to be working harder to improve the quality for you guys. Um, if you have any suggestions for um, content you wanna see, um, if you have any suggestions for how to fix my audio setup a little bit more, make it sound a little better, um, please drop them down in the comments. But um, I promise that the next couple of videos that we do um, for installations, those are, those are set. But for the track, the next track day, I'm going to be really, really focusing on getting you guys some really good quality content, so. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button if you have not, so you can follow my progress and follow uh, the next uh, race series, which will be um, uh, the first week of July. So about a month from now or a little bit over, over a month from now. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you can follow us. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next week. Peace.